Alright, hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys how to restore or unjailbreak your iPhone 4S um, from the latest Absinthe jailbreak. It's, it's basically the same for all of them. So, uh, what you want to do is you want to plug in your iPhone, like so. Then you want to go under iTunes, you want to click on Restore. Um, I don't need to back up. And then we're just going to restore and update. And uh, we'll update to 5.0.1 because it thinks it's not on 5.0.1, but it is because it's jailbroken. And then uh, you gotta agree to that magic. It's gonna download the software. Um, it's not gonna take six minutes here. This is our school's Wi Fi is incredibly fast, but uh, I'm gonna skip past this. And uh, yeah. So I guess, you know, just under five minutes isn't too bad for an 810 megabyte file. But uh, I thought it'd be a little quicker. Anyways, it's uh, it's finished downloading. It's gonna process the file, um, send it up to the iPhone, and uh, start restoring it. So, uh, so you guys can watch it do that if you want. Wow! To my stupidity, I just realized that uh, you guys didn't see any of that. But uh, yeah, it's it's restoring. Um, I got like two text messages before um, it restarted restoring so I'm probably not going to see those which is kind of unfortunate so I'm going to have to press the person to send them again like I have a dumb phone which which makes me sad and um, I may cry a little bit just a little just a little tear you know the lost text messages just disappear from my iPhone how unfortunate Alright, so it is fully restored, it's just going to reboot, and, uh, yeah, nah, my face went away, Oh, it's not going to see it anyway, but, uh, yeah, there we go, it's restoring, it's rebooting, and, uh, from there we'll just be able to select the backup in a second, um, and then it'll return to how it normally was, um, by the last time you backed up. Now, one thing I should mention, I know I didn't back up before this, but that's because I just backed up. Um, not too long ago, and I took like a picture and synced photo stream, and I didn't want to go through the hassle. But you can back up still; it won't back up any of the jailbroken stuff, as far as I know. And um, configure. Um, yeah, English. Yeah, and you just go through the basic setup process all over again. Um, let me just enter in my information. And then I can show you guys the uh, how to. Oh shoot! Take my password wrong for the school Wi-Fi. I hate that it has to have like certain restrictions or whatever. But Shyama, any day. It doesn't want me. It's it's sinking now. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I don't even know why I'm doing this because literally I don't even have to because that's why we made a backup, right? Uh, I was getting ahead of myself. Anyways, you are not seeing my phone number right now, <laughs> but uh, you restore from the backup that you previously made, and it's going to take a little while, especially depending on the size of your iPhone. It's an 8 gig, not too long, or I don't even know if they make 8 gigs anymore. 16 gig, eh. Mine's a 32, it's going to take quite a while. If you have 64 and it's fully filled, it's going to take a long time. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to restore like this, because that's a lot easier than typing everything in. <laughs> um, and it'll save all my settings, it re-implements them all, etc., etc. And you're back to where you were before you jailbroke your iPhone. So, pretty simple, um, pretty basic. The great part about Apple devices um, is that they are programmed hardware and software to be virtually like unbreakable in a sense um you can you can you can do some crazy stuff with this and it's not going to brick um and you're not going to have to do your own stuff on, on android i mean i'm not i don't want to hate on android because i love android and how you can do so much cool crap with it 
and coding in Java is pretty easy. Um, but if you're rooting on Android and something screws up, like you can't just plug it in and click restore. Like you have to know what you're doing um, to deal with the issue, which is another reason why. Screw it. I love them both. I love them both. I can't really. I like the iPhone simplicity, easy, but Android so much more customizable and so much more fun to play with in general. Android's more of a toy, iPhone's more of like, I need this to work all the time, all the time. But uh, anyways, that's that was a little rant in between. It's just going to restore. I'll see you guys in like nine minutes. This right here, this is John Vega. That's all I got. Whoa, girl. Yay! It's done. <laughs> it's gonna restart now, and uh, yeah, like in the past like couple minutes, my graphics card started freaking out, and there's all this crap around my face, and um, <laughs> that's really it. So this is gonna restart. I'm gonna show you it being all normal again and no Cydia, and uh, all that. Hope that helped, guys. If you are looking to um, jailbreak your iPhone, if it didn't, well, I'm sorry. Um, go find another video. I feel like my videos are pretty self-explanatory. So, um, yeah. If you guys have any questions, leave them below in the comments. Um, I'll respond to emails. You can visit the contact me section on my website. Um, link down below, as usual. And uh, I will see you guys in the, uh, in the next video. Yeah. Yay, iPhone. Yay! And now it's going to take forever to sync all my stuff again. Ooh. But there you go. See you guys later.